What's up guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. Hope you guys are doing well. I have a bit of an unusual video, for me at least, today. I decided that over the course of this year, I'm going to do some long-term reviews, stuff that I've had two or three or four or five, six years and used a lot and have some real solid input on. Ordinarily, I'm not much of a review guy. It always feels a little bit awkward but I think that it'll be helpful for a lot of you guys to get some ideas and to hear about some of the gear that I've been using and appreciating and how and why. And so the first thing that I'm going to review is actually the work pants that I've been wearing. I'm not sponsored by anybody other than my Patreon subscribers, so this, this channel is a totally like independent effort. But my brother actually works for Comcast and he gets these Levi Riggs workwear pants and uh, I've been really pleased with these guys I have like the the cargo cargo pants version I'll show kind of a angle all around so you can see these these guys are made of this sort of ripstop canvas material you can see they're pretty well thrashed but my brother actually works for Comcast. He has to replace his pants every year and a half or so. You can see there's a thorn that ripped through right here. And something that's nice about this quilted ripstop pattern sort of canvas or denim is that when you get a tear like that, that probably happened eight months ago. And I've been putting these to hard use and it hasn't really grown. It sort of frays out to where there's these bits of nylon or whatever, and it sort of stops spreading. One thing that might make you pocket knife lovers, I mean keys, kind of smile or feel taken care of is that they've got a piece of leather here on the side. So I know most guys carry right there. And it's awesome, like these won't rip up if you carry a pocket knife. So I don't know if that makes you feel as noticed by a pants company as I do, but I thought that was really awesome. Usually at work, I carry a Gerber center drive. It's got like a seriously solid blade. But the real reason that I carry it, it's kind of a monster. I never carry it casually, but I do carry it a lot for work. And it's because it takes these hex bits. I like the tool set on it, but really the big, big draw for me is that I can have every single bit that we use for the furniture and fittings here at work in this custom bit set. And if one of these suckers breaks, man, I just can, I can rock right down to the hardware store and buy a new one and in fact I have broken several bits. So as I said my brother works for Comcast and he has to retire his pants after every like year and a half for like <laughs> the company's image policy and so he sends me sometimes his old work pants. You're awesome dude. <laughs> Thanks for that Judah. He sent these to me and he sent me one other pair and he'd already worn them for about a year and a half and then I have since put two and a half years, three years of hard hard use like washing it all the time working with thorns they're double layered through here and there's actually this slot down here that you can roll up some padding and stick it up in the double knee and then you actually have built-in knee pads inside of here without having the your blood circulation cut off by this boa constrictor of like a elastic band around the back of your knee. I don't know if you guys hate that as much as I do, but that is just so painful for me. I do not enjoy that at all. I guess I could take a moment to talk about my current like work carry habits and I often carry a Gerber center drive at work. It's a multi-tool, it's out the front. I don't keep it oiled up well enough to do anything cool with it. I used to but it's not, it's not going to come out of there without actually manually pushing it up with your thumb. I like the convenience of the pliers with this. Um, I like the design. I would give it like a 3 out of 10 for size and weight. It is a brick and a monster, but if you work in grounds and maintenance, then having a screwdriver that you can change to any screwdriver for super super cheap for me has become this really really highly valuable thing also another cool thing about the gerber center drive is that it actually comes with a nail puller and pry bar and the all on it is actually quite functional so this pry bar here i've actually used to pull nails out of walls it's got an angle so you can actually get some force on it you can use that end to open bottles and then you can use this as a pry bar. It's super thick, reinforced there. 
that's a super useful feature actually like very practical another thing is that the all on this is so micro thin can you see that I'll put it against my shirt maybe it is so micro thin i can actually dig pocket fuzz out of like the charge port on my phone with this so that my phone when it stops charging because i got too much pocket lint or like leaves and crap in my pants i can actually clear it out with that which is kind of awesome so i've carried leathermans i've carried a leatherman sidekick i've seen the waves and handled them and they're they're nice i haven't handled the new free whatever multi-tools they seem pretty cool i've carried sogs um I've carried Victorinox, Swiss Army knives, stuff like that. But for my job and for like really hard use, convenient pliers, full size knife, as well as a screwdriver that you can actually change the bits on, I have found that I've really settled on the Gerber Center Drive. Wouldn't recommend it for casual use, but if you wear big beefy cargo pants like me, hey, you're in luck. You can actually see I've like, I've like ripped the, uh, pocket where I keep it and so then I sewed it and then it like ripped again <laughs> and so I've put a piece of fleece down in there to catch it so it doesn't fall out of my pocket <laughs> so I like carrying stuff that I don't have to worry about I have an old iPhone like an 8 I have a Timex watch that cost me like just under 40 bucks these are pretty indestructible I'll probably do a review on that at some point uh what else I've got a slimline wallet. I almost put my hand through the pants. So I'm doing this review for two reasons. Number one, uh, one of my friends, Alex, asked me if I like the pants and what they are. So I'll put a link in the description to a page where you can look at sort of the specs on them. The other reason is because I have, I'm developing quite a hole back here. Maybe I won't show you because you'll see my undies through it. But anyway, they're going to get retired soon. Um, other thing that's nice is... Um, slimline wallets i retired the old big fat wallet a long time ago that was giving me scoliosis and i've been carrying a real slim wallet since then that's been pretty nice usually i'll carry a night eyes flashlight i don't have mine on me today but th that's kind of my basic edc i also sometimes carry headphones because it's nice to be able to listen to music right now i've got some skull candies in that old case fold up case and that's pretty much my, my EDC. I'll show you how I carry my knife. So obviously most people like to carry their pocket knife up here. I almost never do. I find getting things in and out of my pocket is a bit cumbersome and I have this ginormous knife. So in these pants, it's always right here and it's a little bit harder to get in and out but it nests down into that pocket and kind of disappears and I really like that. And then you kind of don't have to think about it even though it's like such a big, beefy knife, Spyderco Military, CPMN4. If you want to see the review on this that I did, you can click a link, I'll put it up here. All other times when I'm casual wearing, not cargo pants, I'll stick it inside my waistband, which can be uncomfortable, but I find it's just worth it for having it out of the way and easy to get in and out. That's pretty well, pretty well it. I don't really know what goes in a review. What else do you need to know? Um, Levi's, rigs, cargo pants, I'll put a link in the description. I've been really pleased with them. I'd say durability, I'd give them, let's come up with some subjective and arbitrary numbers. Every review needs subjective and arbitrary numbers, right? <laughs> durability, I'd say probably like a 7.5. They're amongst the most durable pants that I've had, but probably not the most. I have a pair of Carhartts that are older car hearts with flannel inside they're proving maybe a little bit more difficult to wear out than these comfort i would say probably about a seven out of ten quite quite good not like wearing you know stretchy jeans which are all the rage these days for well, some reason or another um utility on utility i would say these pants they pretty well hit it out of the park maybe an eight or a nine let's say 8.5. I can put all the stuff I want to carry in these pants and it's not inconvenient to get anything out. You can sort of sort stuff and I know I sound like such a gear nerd right now and if I do, that's because I am. <laughs> and uh, reinforcement where it counts. Some cool features with reinforcement of the back pockets with this indestructible nylon, rip stop mesh through the pants, leather on the spot where you put your knife, 
There's not a lot more you could ask for. I'd say, hmm, well actually there is. Breathability on a hot day is probably like a four out of 10. <laughs> um, comfort and practicality in terms of having like, being able to put knee pads in them and stuff is, is quite high. Probably like eight out of 10, I would say. Overall, I've been very pleased with these pants. I think my brother used them pretty hard. I've used them pretty hard. They're, they're definitely starting to shred a little bit. But overall, to have a pair of pants for four and a half years or so and be using them hard, I wear these, you know, three, four days a week, this particular pair. And yeah, they, they have really kept up with me. The last thing I want to share about is just like current carry habits because I think that's kind of fun. So lately I have my work knife, my Spyderco Military. And it's like pretty durable, pretty slicey, tip you don't want to pry with, but although I have. <laughs> and I've been really pleased overall with the uh, Spyderco Military in CPM M4. The working edge retention is just wildly long. I just did my denim strop video actually, so the edge is nice and shiny now. But what I've been enjoying is carrying one knife that's durable enough to do anything I want to do for work. And for me, that's this. I don't need anything more durable than this. If I use this for something and break it, then I'll get something more durable. And then having in another pocket, either this pocket or shirt pocket or something, a folder that's really, really slim and slicey. This is probably just under two and a half millimeters, the spine on this. This is from a brand you probably haven't heard of called Petrified Fish. And the blade is 12C27 Sandvik, and it rockets out <laughs> on some ball bearings. Beautiful wood handles, and just look at the profile of that thing. It is so thin. A shout out to m one of my viewers, Alex. Alex uh, sent this to me, and it was so cool. We've been having this conversation about how fun it is to dual carry. And what I mean by that is have a durable knife and beat it up but then have this nice knife sitting in there. And then when you come to lunch and you've got gunk on your work knife, it's like beat up and the edge is a little torn up from a few days of hard use or cutting up a bunch of cardboard or something like that. You leave it in your pocket and you pull out your pleasure knife. <laughs> and then you just, you, you keep the edge on this knife in your front pocket really tuned in and you do like soft and enjoyable tasks with it, cutting up an apple open your mail, like skin an orange, you, just the things that are like fun to do with a really sharp, really thin knife. You rocket this guy out and you just have a few moments of slicing bliss. Like I know, okay, I know I'm such a nerd, <laughs> but I have been finding this so fun and I just wanted to honor Alex. Uh, we had this whole conversation about how fun it is. Sometimes you don't need a steel that lasts forever. You just want a steel that you could strop back easily or would be enjoyable to sharpen that creates a real small footprint in your pocket that is a dream to slice with. And we were both looking through all of these knives and Alex found me this. He's like, I think you're going to like this and sent it all the way from the States. So thanks for being a bro, Alex. I am loving this thing. Day two of having this, I made this monster awesome salsa and I cut up all these tomatoes and onions and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> so you, could, you should check out this brand. I've been pleased with the edge retention so far. It's called Petrified Fish. It's a beautiful knife, beautiful Warncliffe, beautiful grind. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll just say, hey, peace out from the home slice.